Greetings folks, uh, today we're gonna shoot a video um, about how to recover um, platinum metal out of uh, hardy splatters. Um, also how much uh, platinum is in this hardy splatters. As you all know, the composition of uh, some platter is um, aluminum in the inside for the old ones and uh, chromium, cobalt and we hope of some platinum uh, metal layer on the outside these are a uh, hundred piece uh, we're gonna weigh them and um, for first of all we're gonna clear uh, what's the um, best procedure to get rid of the aluminum metal from the inside uh, some people argue that um, the best way is um, dissolving that in uh, sodium hydroxide um, I don't think that uh, I think the best way is to, to dissolve uh, aluminum metal to um, muriatic acid or uh, hydrochloric acid. So we're gonna first uh, weigh these hardest splatters. 100 piece are here. So we're gonna now weigh these hardest splatters. That's the 100 piece. As you can see, there are uh, 2.1 kilogram. That's an average of um, 20 or 21 grams per piece so I also cut a few of these platters in little tiny pieces and um, one part of them uh, we are gonna try to dissolve in, um, in sodium hydroxide and one part of them we're gonna uh, try to dissolve in muriatic acid in hydrogen chloride and we're gonna look <clears throat> which one is which one of the procedures is the best one so let's get started so as you can see we put the little tiny pieces uh, equally in both jars uh, <clears throat> one jar will be with uh, hydrochloric or muriatic acid and another jar will be with uh, sodium hydroxide and we're gonna wait uh, what's gonna happen um, in that jar with sodium hydroxide we're gonna put a little hot water to accelerate the reaction I think that will be enough about 100 150 milliliters and you're gonna have the sodium hydroxide maybe we'll put a little bit more to accelerate the reaction a little bit more as you can see it's already starting to react it's reacting pretty harshly and in another jar will be with hydrochloric acid and we're gonna wait what's happening <clears throat> here on the right side we have a pretty pretty good reaction and we're gonna wait just about a um, half an hour or about an hour to see um, <clears throat> to see how how it's reacting. Greetings, folks. We're back. Um, so we had the two reactions. On the left side, we had um, the tiny pieces from a hardy spider um, uh, react with uh, muriatic or hydrochloric acid. And on the right side, we had the same pieces react with uh, sodium hydroxide a solution. Um, as you see um, on the right side, um, the reaction with sodium hydroxide was a pretty strong reaction. But let's uh, look at the results. Well, the strong reaction uh, resulted uh, almost none. There is some results, but uh, not that strong as the reaction. It attacked some of the aluminum core, but uh, not that really, really hard. On the left side, we have the same pieces uh, with muriatic acid. We can see here really good results. Um, the hydrochloric acid uh, dissolved almost everything from the aluminum core. So I would say. Um, in the second part of this video uh, from recovering uh, platinum metal uh, from hard spellers we're gonna go with um, um, muriatic acid uh, hydrochloric acid um, solution 
and we're gonna soak all those uh, 2.1 kilogram um, in a little bit um, a stronger muriatic acid. I have 35%. Uh, this was 24% uh, muriatic acid, and uh, despite this is uh, not that strong, uh, it had it had a pretty good result on it. So I washed the pieces up. This is water on the pieces. Yeah, here too. And please look at the second part of this video to. Um, to see how um, our results uh, results are with recovering platinum metal. Thanks.